Hi friends, welcome to our channel. In the previous session, we had discussed how to read strings from the terminal. For that, we are using three different types of functions. One is scanf, second one is getcar, third one is getS. In a similar fashion, in this session, we will move to how to write strings to this terminal. So, for writing purpose, we are using printf. Put care, put s. These are the three different functions. First, we will move to printf function. So, printf function blindly prints the entire string without any restrictions. It completely prints the entire string. For example, if your string is care name of 20 is equal to hello space how. Assume if this is your string by using printf. We already discussed percentages is used to print the string. Percentages, comma, name. What is the output? The complete output that is hello how. The complete output is printed on the screen. This is the printf statement compared to scanf. In the scanf, there is a restriction that is, it reads a single word only. But printf, there is no restriction. Now the second one is put care. So the same thing by using get care, we are reading a character by character from the terminal and place into a character array. But the put care, so the put care is print the character by character into the screen. Print character by character. For example, if it is a single character, assume. CH is equal to a put care of CH. What is the meaning of this one? It prints a single character. Suppose if you are written inside a loop, it prints the entire string. Now I will explain with one program main of care a of 10 is equal to welcome. Assume char a of 10 is equal to welcome this is my character sorry this is my string int i for i is equal to 0 for i is equal to 0 here here we are writing some condition what is the condition until the end of a string until the end of a string by default, the string end with null character. You remember that one? Even though you are not passing anything, by default, each and every string ends with null character. So, a of i is not equal to null character. If it is not equal to null character, we have to repeat the loop. Whenever it is equal to null character, we stop the procedure. i plus plus. In the per loop, we have to write Put care of a of i. Put care of a of i. This is the program. See this one. First two. This is zeroth index. First two, second three, four, five, six, and so on. i is equal to zero. What do you mean by a of zero? a of zero in the sense w. w not equal to null. Okay. w is printed. In the next iteration, i plus plus. i becomes one. E of 1 is equal to E, W, E, L, C, O, M, E. In the next step, whenever null character is equal, if both are equal, the condition is true, comes out of the loop. The condition is true, comes out of the loop. This is, but is by using this loop, we are printing character by character. So, printf is completed, put care is completed. What is put s? Simply, simply, for example, if this is your string, Instead of writing this one, you can write like this, put s of name. So the main difference between printf and put s is, in printf statement, we are writing the control string. If you required some message, if you required, you can write some message. But in put s, instead of using any control string, simply we are passing the name of the string. Put s name, directly the answer is hello how. Directly the answer is hello how. This is the way to write the strings into the screen. In the next session, we will discuss some additional advantage and additional variation of printf statement. This is the most advantage of the string.
थैंक यू